You know what? It looks a little bit sketchy, I'm not gonna lie, but it works. And it works, it works well. It works, works well. Like, so. Trust me, I love my life. I don't wanna fucking die, but look, man. Okay guys, I got some really special stuff to share with you right now. We currently just got a bunch of brand new Pronovo Cyclones in and uh, we got them all with stainless steel cutting edges. Some of you guys are in the industry and you know stainless steel is the best cutting edge you could get on a snowblower if you want the best scrape. That does come with uh, your odd damage to a driveway, but certainly not as bad as you think from what I've heard in people in the industry and also testing it ourselves within our business. So please stay tuned for this video. I'm gonna walk you through what we do to our cutting edges so that they do not leave driveway damage. Okay, so as you can see here, we got the big 6130 right now and it's got one of our Pronovo Cyclone 80s flipped over and uh, we got Eric right now on the grinder. So you grinded this all down across here, right? Yeah. And now it looks like you're softening the edges up a little bit too, right? So that when it turns out of a driveway and it's dragging, it doesn't leave any driveway damage? Exactly. Nice. And this side in here, and this side in here, and the corner gotta be around a quarter inch uh, round off because of the turn, right? If you turn and that is sharp, you're gonna gouge the driveway, right? Absolutely, you're going to. So that works perfect like that, Eric. Look how beautiful this blower looks on the inside, eh? It's amazing. It is another way to take a look to it, how well done it is, right? <laughs> it's perfected. You got the nice, beautiful, chain case here so that it doesn't get all rotted and full of rust and sand and stuff screw up the chain got this beautiful auger in here look at the the neoprene here on the on the paddles you see this it's closer to the edge so you could pick up the snow nicer off the ground yes so you don't leave those piles of snow on the streets the nice wings nice adjustable wings i call it no bullshit wings you don't need anything else no rubbing marks in the, in the driveways. It's just smooth and easy. We have a couple that we used last year. They are perfect. And you know what's the best part too? You see this piece right here? Mm -hmm. It's a stainless oh, underneath. Yeah, 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 you yeah. can see it. It's not part of this, right? No. It's, it's a different yeah. material. Wow. Coated on there so that when it does scrape against the driveway, it doesn't leave marks. Yes. So that's a big piece of stainless on there and on there. But yeah, you want to tell them how hard of a time we had with our Normans last year with uh, the shoes locking up and the black marks it would leave on the driveway. And oh my God, we went through hell, man. So did our customers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We had so many customers, not, not too many, but some of them were really upset about the marks, right? You know, the rubber edge is a good idea, but if you have a driveway that is kind of color gray, leaves a little mark in there. If it's only asphalt driveways, go ahead. But if you have like pavers and they are like light gray color, it's gonna leave a mark and the customer is gonna be pissed. Yeah, so that, that's a big issue we had with the Norman Hybrid uh, 92s and 82s. Is the skid shoes, not only do they freeze up and lock up, they also leave nasty ass black marks all over the customer's driveway, which is no fun. And then uh, also wind rolls too, right? When they yes. freeze up, that was another really shitty thing, but. Stop up and not go down not do anything and then when you are going with your blower the wind rolls in there right oh and yeah it was not fun because then what is the purpose of having it right why have the shoe right yeah i know you know what i gotta say pronovos has made an excellent design here there's a, a lot of play in it too right like it's a little bit loose it's yes. supposed to be yes. so that it could move freely and not get gummed up and and freeze right so it's a brilliant brilliant design excited to see how they perform you know what the two other pronovo cyclones we have on our fleet back there we didn't have no problems with the wings no. this past winter no. eh? and uh, you know what we we'll, we did lose the shoes in the in the normans as well i left them really loose for some reason, they continue to 
to get uh, stuck in there if you guys have followed the page and have seen uh, uh, some of the videos you will notice that i was even uh, working in this area in here because that's what it was uh, getting stuck for a, for a while right but then i fixed that i made this hole bigger so it would have more play and still we have a video stuck. we have a video we posted about yes, it yes exactly and it still didn't work still didn't work right yeah. so yeah this we really bet for them and uh now we just came back to the ones that we started with yeah 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 we're back where we started with pronovo cyclone very happy to be running these blowers this year our customers are certainly going to be happy too that's who we did it for more or less they're going to notice a huge difference in scrape quality they're going to notice a major difference in the blower picking up snow off the road also blowing the snow on the property as well i do find these blowers can go a little bit farther than the normans and billadoos which is nice when you're dispersing snow amongst the lawn so I didn't uh, get to show you guys, but check out Eric's setup here. He's got the chain wrapped around the forks on the 6130 loader here, just in case. So it doesn't fall forward, right? Yeah. And then he's got a bunch of pallets here so that the blower sits nicely so nothing gets damaged or breaks. This is how he's gonna be flipping all of the blowers so that he could polish the edges and check it out. I think I'm gonna undercoat them in there. Yeah. Slow and steady wins the race. And just like that, the blower is safe and sound. The edge was just completely polished on it. So it's nice and smooth and doesn't damage any driveways. And now we are on to the next. So one by one, he's gonna be doing them like this. He's got his pallets in the back. He's gonna flip over the blower so that they sit on the pallet nicely. And he's gonna smoothen out the edge and corners of the cutting edge so that we don't leave any damage on our customers' driveways. Eric, the fucking man, the genius. Thank you so much for everything, brother. That system is going to work really well for us and I bet you that these guys will be done within at least five hours. They only got 10 blowers here, they're already down one, only took them about 20 minutes and uh, it's a great system. Rather than hooking up to each blower one by one, bringing them in the shop and then you know grinding them down and then coming all the way back out here, dropping the blower, putting on another tractor, like this is the most efficient way. We're going to flop them, grind those edges down, have them ready to go. Then we're on to the PTO shafts, right? We got to cut and measure the PTO shafts, hook up the hydraulic hoses, and then they're ready for our Kubota L6060s that are on the way. So that's pretty much where we're at right now, guys. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Uh, this is just a quick video I wanted to make to share with you guys on what you should do if you are buying a stainless steel edge. Make sure that you smoothen it out a bit with a grinder, especially the corners, right? Because when that blower is turning out of the driveway, you don't want it to gouge. And uh, you know what? If you don't got a grinder or a solution like this, just take it down the street on some nice smooth asphalt for like maybe half a kilometer, and that'll soften that steel edge a little bit too for you so that you're not gouging. I got another. 10 Pronovo Cyclones coming tomorrow. So we're gonna be busy here for a few days. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned. If there's anything else you'd like to know, hear, or talk about, leave a comment below. I appreciate y'all. Stay tuned, we'll catch you on the next one.